Hello everyone, I'm John with JP Strategic Investments and today I'm going to go over some big news for Rocket Company stock relating to some of their recent tweets and the recent ultimatum from United Wholesale Mortgage. This has gone under the radar for some reason, but it really is a game changer for Rocket stock. I'm going to explain the whole situation and go over exactly how it will affect the stock, so without further ado, let's dive right in. So before we get into the actual tweets that I'm talking about, let me give you a little bit of background on United Wholesale Mortgage's ultimatum. So United Wholesale Mortgage, or UWM, is currently Rocket's biggest competitor when it comes to mortgage originations. Now, one big difference between UWM and Rocket is that UWM works solely through brokers. Rocket, on the other hand, originates loans through several different channels. Now, I know a lot of you watching are pretty young, so you may not have gone through the process of actually purchasing a home. So let me just quickly go over the different ways that you can actually buy a home and what a broker actually does. So today when you go to buy a home, there are several different options. You can buy directly from the seller, you can use real estate agents and mortgage brokers, or you can complete the entire process online. Now, the home buying process can be very complicated and hard to understand, so even though it might be slightly more cost effective to complete the process yourself, many people still prefer to have somebody else walk them through the process and take care of all the paperwork. This is where brokers come in. Mortgage brokers can often take a lot of the confusion and stress out of the home buying process by acting as the middleman between the home buyer and the lender. For this reason, Rocket offers their services to brokers as well, so brokers can offer their clients an even better home buying experience. Now that we understand this, let's get into UWM's ultimatum. About two weeks ago, UWM told brokers that they would not work with any broker who also did business with Rocket Mortgage as well as Fairway Independent Wholesale. They gave the brokers until March 15th to sign a contract to work solely with UWM or to choose not to work with them at all. Now, UWM's argument here is that because Rocket Mortgage and Fairway Independent Wholesale incentivize homeowners to cut brokers out of the home buying transaction through their direct home purchase platforms, they have an inherent conflict of interest with brokers. Now, I will say on the surface, this argument does make some sense. Obviously, Rocket's direct-to-consumer segment is more profitable because they don't have to give a cut of the transaction to a broker. This means that long term, they would probably love to do a majority of their business direct to consumer. There are a couple of problems with this ultimatum though. First, Rocket understands that it will take some time for the majority of people to become comfortable going through the home buying process without the help of a broker. This is why they put so much emphasis into their national broker directory and their broker segment. Second, if Rocket can provide a better platform to brokers than UWM, then if brokers are forced to choose between the two, they will likely go with Rocket. And finally, generally people just don't like being told what to do, especially in the form of an ultimatum like this. So while many in the mortgage community understood why UWM made this move, the majority of reactions from brokers were negative. And now obviously the deadline has passed and this is where Rocket's tweets come in. The first here is a memo that states, quote, Today, Matt Ashiba and United Wholesale Mortgage distributed a press release that was false and clearly misleading. In the release, sent to the media and distributed to brokers across the country, UWM claimed that 10,000 broker shops are participating with UWM attempting to mislead the broker and business community in order to show strength where little exists. The real facts are that we are aware of many brokers who didn't even receive an addendum, let alone the quote broker shops, meaning the actual brokerage firms, that they claim in the headline of their press release. To believe that 10,000 broker owners bent the knee to UWM is laughable. At Rocket Pro TPO, 22 of our 25 largest partners have rejected UWM's ultimatum and have elected to continue working with our company, many of which did more business with UWM before they were forced to choose. In addition, one of UWM's largest partners, who previous to the ultimatum had barely worked with us, has committed to doing business with Rocket Pro TPO and is refusing to sign UWM's contract. Also, thousands and thousands of brokers have told us they would not agree to UWM's terms. The net result is that today we are again pacing towards one of the 10 best days in our company's history, while providing our partners incredible rates to pass along to their clients. We completely understand that the power of the mortgage broker is choice and independence, and we never ask them to sign a loyalty pact. The results speak for themselves. The broker community has provided us a resounding vote of support, with daily registrations up 40% since Matashiba's ultimatum. We also continue to lead the industry in pricing. So basically after this deadline passed, United Wholesale Mortgage wanted to show that their ultimatum had worked, but essentially they had to lie to do so. Now, as always with the stock market, it's good to have a healthy skepticism whenever reading a press release like this. For all we know, Rocket could be the one putting out false information here. But just in the last 24 hours after this tweet, Rocket has tweeted quote after quote from mortgage brokers signing up with Rocket and rejecting UWM's ultimatum. 
And you could tell they couldn't help but taunt UWM a little bit with so many quotes being tweeted out. But honestly, I can't really blame them. UWM pretty much handed Rocket a chunk of their market share on a silver platter. So obviously this is huge for the stock and it's hard to believe that the stock is not up in a big way on this news. This essentially means that Rocket has gained even a larger chunk of market share just in the past week and it will force analysts to increase their earnings estimates and price targets for the stock. The only reason I can think of as to why the stock has not jumped on this news is that institutions are holding the stock down until they can reposition. Some evidence of this is that there is a curiously large amount of open interest on calls expiring this week, and I wouldn't be surprised if the stock is held down for the remainder of the week and then shoots up on Monday after these calls have expired worthless. That being said, if buyers can manage to force the stock above these strike prices before Friday, this could force a squeeze similar to the one that happened shortly after Rocket's earnings report. I personally bought call spreads for next week, and I will buy more if the stock stays flat tomorrow and Friday. I hope you found this analysis helpful, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Also, don't forget to leave any questions or thoughts in the comments below. Other than that, see you next time, and have a great day.